What's going on, y'all? SES for home. LS Box Chevy, man. The biggest sound system I've ever touched so far. 8K. It's about to be crazy. So we're going two runs, a 2 0. Uh, premium cables. $100 in cables, $130. Lithium under the hood and in a trunk. It's the lithium battery that's under the hood. And then got a limitless that go in the trunk. High output alternator. Three resilient sounds. Twelves. Console front and back. Back deck, which got to be made over because it has a seat belt in the back. So when everybody asks for a back deck now. I gotta say, send me a picture of yours. All right. Thought I'd be done with this car tomorrow, but I definitely won't. Now that I gotta do fab work. Real clean. Real clean. Good thing about this car, with well, this build right here, I don't have to take no door panels off. I ain't gotta take the carpet up. So that saves a lot of time. A lot of time. We about to get it started. Help me out. We got the radio bells was done, but uh, he said check the wiring on it. So do that and then we're gonna work our way from front to back rear six and a half is done the amp rack is done but the amp rack may or may not have to be made over because the amp is huge and also the battery uh so there's two amps and the battery you gotta make sure we got enough space yeah. so stay tuned man keep going on What's going on, y'all? For real, for real, today, we're like day one. I cut y'all straight on with the time lapse. Yeah. I've, been, I've been up doing this for a minute. I think I'm done for the day, man. Um, I'm gonna make me a list for this car. Uh, all the speaker wires, RCA's remote, lights, all those wires ran. Uh, I told y'all I gotta make the back deck over. Hold on, let me clean my camera. Yeah, I told y'all I gotta make the back deck over. Uh, which ain't gonna take too long. Hopefully I could uh, make it after my test and tune and everything tomorrow, cause I'll be tuning the highs and mids tomorrow with the radio and everything. Uh, I'm trying to start on this car like 12. I got some other stuff I'm knocking out at home. This was the wall full of stuff for this car. Y'all gonna see a little bit of stuff. Nothing much. But uh, everything is almost gone. My stuff will be right here next. <laughs> Eight man. But uh, glue down. You already had put this uh, this trunk line on here. I glued it down. All the wires in there. 
Eating is clean. Yes, sir. Yeah, so far so good. Looking real good. So I think I'm gonna mount the amp right now. Amp some batteries so I can get a general idea of what my layout about to look like. The next day. What's going on, y'all? SCS, you know. This all, all this video is gonna be like one video because this is a huge system in this car. And I didn't know if you wanted me to show it. I didn't know you were going to be doing some competitions, some trunk wars and some stuff. Oh, yeah, excuse my band-aid, man. I got some Nelly going on, but I dang cut myself with a razor and trying to not put it in the razor holder. But I'm cool. But, um, man, this thing is finna bang. And it's going to be banging today. Oh, my God. Bruh. This thing about to hit. Whole amp rack ran and built. I did all of that last night. All the wires ran for the radio. I did the alternator swap. Y'all already seen that part. And the alternator stopped working. I mean, well, wasn't working. So I actually depended it and figured out what I need to do for that. So I had that working. You, I, I try to leave myself some time now. Because every time I say it's going to be a certain amount of time, it don't be. And then fabrication take long. And wiring take long. But all the hard part done. This amp rack took about to make... Battery box to make, wrap everything, and wire all that took about six hours, seven hours. All right, so I found out what I need to do to make this alternator charge. The alternator was not charging. Everything's supposed to be plug and play. I hooked it up, plugged it up. It was not charging at all. It was killing the battery. So I deep it. I'm about to uh, recrimp it, put it back together, heat shrink the end, and I'm going to connect it and make sure it's charged. If it charged, which it does because I just tested it out. Yeah, I ended up putting switching the power wire to the driver's side. Two grommets in the firewall. The console in, I bolted down. Uh, runs going boom, boom, boom. Y'all seen the amp rack? Amp rack killer. Uh, fuse on both sides in the trunk and then in the, uh, under the hood. On the lights. I wired it so it don't come on with the car off, so I gotta turn this key back. Lights. Back console was made without the speaker, so I had to do it over because it hit the cups. Uh, six, six and a half. Got some four by sixes that go in the dash that's gonna play off the radio, but the owner gonna put those in. Uh, so I'm gonna put the subs in for get some help because the boy is uh, old now. I can't. Can't live for all that heavy stuff no more. Uh, old earth. Boy, tired now. But, uh, yeah. I'm finna give y'all the test and tune video. So, I'm thinking the test and tune video might drop first. But I don't know because the car might leave tomorrow. I gotta do the back console. We're gonna come back. I'll put it in. 
put the speakers back up, boy, boy. But uh, trying to test the music so I can get everything adjusted right. Put the back seat in, put the drive seat in. Well, no, I can't put the front seat in at all. So I just put the back seat in. That's out here. Um, man, I got to bring the charger back. But it's crazy, man. This whole wall was just car. And it's all that's left. I'm gonna move the next car stuff over here. We get to working on the stuff for it. But uh, I'm waiting on, waiting on help. So to the end, Catch y'all, catch y'all back on tomorrow or the day after once everything in into the other. Keep y'all posted.